I'm pleased to announce that version 1.1.1 of Popcorn Theme has been released. It's available to download right now. So I wanted to put a video together to show you basically the new features and of course how to update your theme. So in this video, I'm going to be updating my website, bestcornpopper.com. I'm going to show you exactly how to yeah, update your uh, popcorn theme to the latest version. And then I'm going to take you through some of the new features in this release. And uh, yeah, some of them are pretty cool. So uh, you don't want to miss that. Let's get started. The website I'm going to be updating is, of course, this one, bestcornpopper.com. It's the demo site for the theme, but it's also a real live affiliate site that's actually starting to earn some money. Do check out the update videos if you want to find out how it's going. And they're all in a playlist. You'll find a link to that playlist in the description. Okay, so the first step, or step one, we could say, is you need to download the latest version of the theme. Now, this is the last time that we're going to have to do this kind of manual update. Um, the next versions of the theme are going to have an auto update kind of built in so you can just click update within WordPress and it'll do it all for you. But until then we do need to do it manually. So here's how we're going to do that. If you log into your account on popcorntheme.com, go to downloads, just give this button a click and save it to your computer. There we go. Download it to the computer. Let's go into the website. The website that we want to update. I'm already logged in. I'm going to go into appearance and themes. Now I'm running the popcorn child theme, which is a good thing to do. Um, but the process is basically the same. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly switch to 2021 like that. Then what I'm going to do is Click on popcorn, which is this is the old version. So I want to get rid of that. I'm going to come down here, click delete, then OK. It's gone. I'm going to click add new theme. I'm going to click upload theme. Click choose file. Then I'm going to select that uh, file I just downloaded from the popcorntheme.com website. Click open. Click install now. It's going to take a moment. That's done. I'm going to go back to the themes page, and then I'm going to activate my child theme again. And let's visit the site. All is well. We are now up to date. We go back in, we can just double check that. Go back into the themes. And if we take a look here, we can see we've got version 1.1.1. Perfect. One last thing you might want to do is if you're running a caching plugin or you're running caching through Ezoic or something like that, you're going to want to clear that cache um, just to make sure that you don't get any problems. So that's it. The update is all done. That's pretty straightforward. Let's explore now um, a few of the new features that um, come with version 1.1.1. Now there's a lot of changes in this version of Popcorn. You can, of course, find all of the latest changes and the change log information over at popcorntheme.com. I'm just gonna take you through a few differences that you'll find in the customize section. Let's have a look at that now. I'm just gonna click on customize. Now, if you come in here, you'll see that there's a lot more options now. A lot more things you can do in here to adjust the look and feel of your site. So you've got all the different colors in here. You can adjust the colors for different headers, which is really good. Your primary and secondary colors uh, are still there. Uh, in appearance, we've got some shadow options now, which is very exciting. You know, default, we've got some light shadows, but you might like some hard shadows. Look at them shadows. They are extremely hard, I gotta say. Maybe a little bit too hard for me. Um, I quite like the light, if I'm honest, but, but why not? Let's go for a medium. You've got some box radius settings. If you like your corners, you know, super, super rounded, we've got heavy there, or in fact, you can square them off if you prefer, really up to you. Um, I think just a light curve is, is what I want there. We've got title transform, so if you want to, for example, make all of your um, titles capitals, can be done in one click. Maybe you just wanna capitalize each word. We can do that for you as well. 
Uh, and then we've got some logo adjustments here as well if you need to. So they're pretty cool. In typography, got a few more options in here. It's basically all font stuff, not very exciting, um, but you know, useful. In the layout, we now have a brand new header. We have an inline header. Look at that. Oh, oh, I don't know if I prefer that or the stacked. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Is it stacked or in it or is it inline? Oh, I could be tempted by inline, I think. I think I could. I'm gonna leave it on inline. What else have we got? Load more options in terms of breakpoints and stuff that you're probably not gonna wanna mess with unless you know what you're doing. And yeah, we've got some options here on the card image, which is pretty cool. We've got auto cropped or uncropped. If you do it uncropped, you're gonna need to make sure that everything is the same size. So auto crop kind of means you don't have to worry about that. Some good stuff in there. We've got social links, of course. I think these were here last time, weren't they? Nothing too exciting there. Popcorn custom text is pretty much the same. That's your disclaimer. The front page has got a few changes. The main one being, uh, let me find it here. We've got these front page categories. This allows you to, where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go. Allows you to pull in three different categories. Now this is still a work in progress. We're gonna be working on this again in future versions. But at the moment, you can add three categories, just you know, give them a name, like buyers, guides. And of course you'd add your link. You, you need to get the URLs, probably open a new tab is probably the best way to do that and just, you know, grab a, a copy, copy link address there. Pop that in. You can have uh, beginners guides. Again, uh, copy this. Now, I've only got two categories. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a slight issue. If you've got two categories, then this feature might not be for you. Uh, what I could do is do all articles, that might work. And then just, you know, go to the blog page. I think it's blog, isn't it? I think it's blog, let me just check that. There they are. That works, doesn't it? And these match your primary and secondary color scheme. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like that feature. A lot of you've been asking for that. Post settings, got a few more options in here. These are all just kind of quality of life things, you know, just little tweaks here and there. You can disable the metadata, you can uh, change the time prefix. Actually, I think they were in last version, but um, you know, there's a few other little tweaks in here as well. And then in here, we've got this kind of standard header stuff. You could change the background. I think these are new settings. Uh, we've got footer settings, of course. A couple of options there to disable them. The footer is definitely a work in progress. It looks a lot better in this version for sure, um, but the design is continually evolving. This is brand new, the popcorn performance settings. Uh, you can now disable emojis, which will uh, give you an extra couple of points on your Google PageSpeed score. And there will be more performance settings coming soon, I'm sure. Wow, I love this inline header. Don't you? Or maybe you prefer the old one and say, let me know in the comments. But that's it, Popcorn version 1.1.1. Go and update yourself right now. Enjoy. That brings the end of this video. Hope you managed to update your theme and you're now uh, running the latest version. Go check out those new features. Which header are you gonna go for? Uh, yeah, I have switched to an inline on Best Corn Popper. I love that new layout. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, how your website's going. Do you like the popcorn theme? What do you wanna see in future versions? We are listening to all of our customers and taking on board your feedback. If you're not yet a subscriber, why on earth not? Why don't you become a subscriber right now? Click that subscribe button, make sure you click the bell. And if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, then please click the like button. That really does help me out. Until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.